Hello everybody, I am Nathan Blake and this is Alfred. It is a uh, little adventure game uh, in the same style as Inside or Limbo only. Uh, and we're already playing. Uh, it is made in the Unity engine and we're gonna see what's, what's going on. Okay, so we can climb over this. We're set in some sort of futuristic, oh okay, hello. Some sort of futuristic post-apocalyptic world where tech- No! We're gonna die! Alrighty. Well, as usual, I came into this pretty blind so that I could be surprised by what's going on, and boy am I. I really like what they've done now. Oh, I hear with a lot of these visuals really well done so far. Gotta keep on moving. All I know is eventually I come across a robot that's going to help me. Uh, oh. Well, I should, get, I guess, be using my controller then. Um, well. Never mind that. There we go. So apparently it's optimized to use with the controller, but I don't have... My controller set up at the moment, except for my Steam controller. My Steam controller didn't want to do it, so we'll see. Ah, oh, look at the pug. Look how cute the pug is, and the rats. And whoa, 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 whoa! Stay back, back, you cannibals! Use Alfred in every life situation. Ah! Okay, let's pick this up. Oh, well, apparently she just wants to drop it. Oh, I, I guess I have to hold it? Yeah, I gotta hold it. Okay. All right, plug that puppy in there. Just plug it right in. All right, aw, he's cute. He's got a bow tie. All right, whoa! That's definitely not what I expected. Okay. Um. Which button is that? Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. Well, this is really neat so far, especially for something somebody just made in the Unity engine. They've done a really good job of this. Check out Godzilla there on the wall. I really enjoy the aesthetic of it so far. It's definitely got a good creepy vibe to it. Um, 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 what? Okay, so are you protecting me, Alfred? Is that what's happening here? Oh, okay. Whoa, hey, you know. What is going on exactly? Oh, I understand. So Alfred won't let him be shot because Alfred is too protective. Um, so I have to figure out how to get Alfred to... Can I outrun Alfred? There we go, okay. So Alfred is protective even of the bad guys because it's his programming. And I have to outsmart his program. Oh, Alfred, it's okay. It's okay, buddy, come on. I know, I know, you, you didn't succeed at saving him, but he was a bad guy. So it's, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. Well, that's a that's a really interesting mechanic that your robot would be as interested in protecting enemies as you, as well as. Uh, ah! No! 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 Ah! What are those? Alfred, come, Alfred. Oh, good, good, good job, Alfred. Um, I don't know. 
maybe I could... Oh, okay, so I can theoretically pick him up and chuck him at the bad guy, maybe? Okay, so I've got to get Alfred to stay away from those bombs long enough for me to get a hold of one. But Alfred doesn't really want to do that. Hmm. Seems like something that it would be helped by having a tutorial of some sort. Okay, Alfred. I hate to do this, buddy. But, remember this guy? Ah, gosh darn it. Okay. Well, I hoped he'd get distracted by that guy again, and then we'd have a chance to interact with this guy over here, but... Okay. So... Oh! Oh, that guy is down here now. Um, yes. You just... You just hold on to those bombs. Okay, well, that glitched out, but we'll take it. I, I'm okay with that. Also, uh, I, you may have noticed that I have a new camera, and that things look better, and that it is a different format, and yeah, all of that jazz. So anyway, I have upgraded my camera to a, a, a camera that gets more frames per second uh, and just runs smoother than... Oh, he was a straight up, okay. Oh, okay, come this way, buddy. Come on. Okay, well, I hoped I had figured something out there, but. All right, just roll on that. No, Alfred, no! <laughs> yeah, this has got some real clever mechanics in it, and it's it's really interesting that uh, Alfred is so helpful, and oh, it's so sad. Alfred is so helpful, but he's also like an obstacle you have to work around as well. So that's pretty pretty interesting, and not something I would have thought of at all. Um, uh, when I, oh gosh, and he just wrecks stuff too. Look at this cute little bow tie. Yeah, this game is a is an interesting. Oh, okay. This game's real interesting about how it like sort of. Um. Okay, I see what we're gonna do. This game's real interesting in how it it manages to be real cute and uh, both very cute and kind of creepy in a lot of different ways. And uh, but but still very well done. It's very stylish. It gives me kind of a Bioshock feel, um, which I really like. Al uh, Alfred reminds me kind of of Big Daddy, and uh, our main heroine here reminds me of. A little bit of Elizabeth from Infinite, uh, maybe more of the daughter or the, the little sister from the second Bioshock. Oh, there's the pug again. Apparently that pug's kind of important. Oh, it's okay, Alfred. Okay, you're going to stay there for a second and I'm going to head up here. 
I'll come back for you, buddy. I won't leave my robo friend behind. Alfred's too good for this world. He's seen too many things, but he's still pure. I, on the other hand, am running for my life! Oh, I survived. Oh, Alfred, 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 Alfred. Okay, well, we'll try that again. I've seen, seen too much. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve it. Save me, Alfred! Save me, Alfred! Save me, Alfred! Oh. No, it's okay, Alfred. Poor Alfred. He's so tender-hearted. Just keep on following me, buddy. We'll be out of this soon. We're, we're gonna keep on chugging along. I don't actually know how long this is. I don't know if it's a full game or a demo, and I don't know if it is a full game, if it's a shorter or smaller thing or what, but... Okay, so that drops down to there. I imagine I need that up, and then I drop that bomb on it, and then drop it down, and then it falls. Huh. Oh, okay. I did... I got it. Um, this is... Uh, it's not good! It's not good! It's, it's no good! Okay. Okay, Alfred. You stay right where you are. And just just calm down. You don't, you don't have to be sad. What is this food place, anyway? Um, roll. Roll, 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 roll. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, so... So do I need to get it to go and then press the button? Is that what I need to do? Oh, gosh darn it. She got, she got caught up on the geometry. Oh, I see what I need to do. Alfred's sad. And the reason Alfred's sad is because Alfred doesn't move much when he's sad. And I need him to stay right here. Because Alfred is going to be part of my ramp. Isn't that right, Alfred, buddy? He's going to take care of it. Good job, Alfred. Whoops. Missed, missed that jump. I moops that right up. Okay. So now we know we've got to climb up here and grab this fruit, this bomb fruit, because that's a thing, and then run over this way, and then drop it, and it's gonna roll right on down there, and get right where we need it, BAM! Alright, yeah, the puzzle, the puzzles on this game are pretty neat, I really like them, uh, they're not always 100%, uh, you know, you don't get them on your first try every time. But mostly I think that's just because I don't always understand exactly how Alfred works. So, probably things that I'm going to learn more as I play um, about how Alfred actually functions. Because, um, hmm. Okay, okay. So I need Alfred to help me with this. Gosh darn it, Alfred. Ah! 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 Save me, Alfred! Okay. I'm not entirely sure what to do about this one. We'll have to see. So we'll climb up on Alfred and we'll grab the bomb. And then we'll have to drop the bomb and then pull this. Nope, that's not gonna do it. I'll have to hold the bomb over here. 
Oh, okay, I don't need the bomb on the other side of that. It's it's how I get Alfred to let me smoosh that guy. Sorry, Alfred. I know it's super sad that I have to keep tricking you into letting people die. But I need your help, and they are bad people. So... I don't... Yeah, I don't like that! That looked like I was gonna fall. Alfred, come here. Alfred? Oh, Alfred! I don't want Alfred to die. I love Alfred. Alfred's awesome. Oh! <laughs> Oh, Alfred, no! Keep living for me, Alfred. Come on, Alfred. No. Oh, we broke the robot's heart. We broke Alfred's heart, and I, like I said, he was too... He was too good for this world. He was too pure and too sweet. And he couldn't couldn't make it in this doggy dog world that we've that we gotten into, so. Well, that was a really interesting game with some really interesting mechanics and, and uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to where you can find this game and maybe uh, support the developers because I don't know if this was a demo or if it was something that, that they just made as a project or what, but they did a really good job and, and if we could show them how much we loved it so that they would make more of whatever they're making, that would be super awesome because this is really well thought out and and they, you know, they definitely laid hints that Alfred was was maybe a little uh, too sweet for this world that we were in because he was so heartbroken every time somebody died, and and you know it makes sense because he's he's probably programmed with uh, Isaac Asimov's uh, rules of for robots, you know, where uh, he wasn't supposed to let any humans come to harm through action or inaction. So we had to keep making him break his programming, so eventually he realized that he couldn't continue to function because his functioning was, in some cases, causing the demise of other people. And so shutting himself off was his only option. So um, that's super interesting, and I'd love to see more from these people, whether it was more of something like this or, or something else. Their storytelling is, is really good. I think that's probably their strongest point from what I saw here. So, at any rate, thank you so much for watching and going on this adventure with me. And for now, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games. Sayonara! This has been Alfred. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it in the future, please like and comment below. If you're new to the channel and would like to be notified of new videos, consider subscribing. Like my channel? Want to see it grow? Share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again, everyone. Sayonara.